in conventional computing systems, uh, such as of laptops and mobile phones, uh, there is a physical separation between uh, you know, where you store your data and where you process them. So whenever we perform computation, uh, we need to shuttle data back and forth between the processing and the memory units. Uh, this leads to significant inefficiency and it's particularly bad for data-centric cognitive computing. In in-memory computing, um, the idea is to perform certain computational tasks uh, in the memory itself, in a specialized memory unit uh, which we call computational memory. And how we achieve this is by exploiting the, the physical attributes and state dynamics of memory devices. In-memory computing can be viewed as the first significant step towards non von Neumann computing. So much of the computing system remains the same. So what we are trying to do is to, in, to incorporate an, a coprocessor or an accelerator to efficiently perform some computational tasks in the space of machine learning and deep learning. Uh, so we believe uh, this is much easier uh, to, to manufacture and to commercialize uh, because we are not uh, altering the entire computing system in the process. In our paper, what you've shown is we can uh, use uh, computational memory um, to find temporal correlations between event-based data streams. This is an application that arises in a wide range of fields such as Internet of Things, uh, life sciences, uh, uh, social media, and so on. Having said that, uh, we can also use uh, computational memory um, for a range of other applications uh, such as performing logical operations um, or matrix vector multiplications or even solving optimization problems. In fact, we have uh, yet another paper which is coming up uh, at the IEDM uh, later this year where we show how we can use uh, computational memory for solving an optimization problem.